Hey guys, Blanca here, and today I want to show you guys the, the tutorial video about how to play on your Play, PlayStation 2 online using the X-Link Canal. So, the first thing that you're going to have to do is just simply um, start up your computer and go to the website called the X-Link Canal. Then, once you get there, you can simply um, go to the download section and click on where I'm at to say, Download X-Link Canal or Cal, <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't pronounce it right, but you know, you get the picture, like, you just have to click it here, and then make sure you gotta wait until it gets, well, like, when your computer get really too installed of it, alright, so we'll move on to the next step right now. Okay, so, once you boot up, once you turn on your PlayStation 2, click on the word browser, Okay, then click on your memory card. Okay, so once there, you can go ahead and delete your network configuration. Once you deleted that, you can go ahead and boot up your game. Okay, so the game I'm using to play uh, is Jackass Combat Racing. So I'm going to use that to, as an example, to play on Excellent Canal. All right. So once you hook it up on once no, I'm sorry. Once you start up the game, you can go ahead and go to X position. In other words, like multiplayers. Okay. Then you go and click online. Okay. So once there, the method will appear that it doesn't that you don't have set up on your network configuration. So you're gonna have to press accepted. And then once there, um, you're just going to head and um, go to the Add Settings. And then that's where you're going to start finding out your last four digits of the MAC address. And I'll tell you guys about that in a minute. So once we're in the menu here, go to the Add Settings. Go to your memory. And click on whatever the network that you have on your router or your yeah whatever you have in your router you click on it and move to the next one okay you don't need to require for that and just right now just put everything on your ID address to automatic automatically at this moment okay so once it's starting up on a test connection it'll show you um, what what's gonna be on the next step so you can put on any names that you want in your setting I'm just gonna leave it like that alright so once there you can go ahead and type and write down your uh, MAC address which you are only need about um, uh, four digits on behind and I'm gonna do that on the net on the computer right now okay so once you're back on your computer you can go ahead and go to the link on the website that says Xlink Canal, which it says about uh, general IP, and I'll make sure I'll put the link description down below. All right, once you're there, you can go ahead and type in your last uh, digit for the MAC address on your PS2. Okay, so once you got that right down, you can go ahead and, oh, hold on, I gotta capitalize the F. Alright, there we go. Alright, then you can go ahead and click on Calculating IP Address. Okay, so once there, you need to go ahead and write down this information that you have on your ID address, which, of course, you're gonna have to type it down back on your, um, your network configuration on your PS2. Okay, so once you go back on your Confederation Network, just go ahead and click on the Add Setting again. Memory Card. Alright, now this time you're going to have to set this on Manual. 
Now type on the ones that you already calculated on your ID address back on your computer. And back. All right. Now next, and this next step, uh, just do what I do. Um, you're just gonna put like two five five two five five, and that's it. All right. And the next one, just put one ninety two one six eight zero one. All right. Uh, the same thing. Uh, just put one ninety two one six eight zero one, and you don't have to um, put the second D and S on it. You just need the first one. All right, and I'm just gonna leave it like that. Setting two will be fine. All right, so once you're done with that, you can go ahead and save it. It's gonna take a while, so once it's waiting up, um, I'm going ahead and start the next step. Okay, so while my game is being saved, um, you can go ahead and go to your, go back to your computer. Uh, click on start and once there you can go back and choose on whether you can use the start user interference or start cal uh, X link I'm gonna say it um, so for me I already click on it and it's down below on my bar screen alright so once it's there you can go ahead and check to see if your PlayStation 2 is already hooked up to your computer so what in quote on question mark file and once there you'll see that your uh, your code bar on your PS2 or your PS3 has been successfully uh, connected to your computer alright so once it's there you can go ahead and go to the circle of the globe earth sorry hold on I'm sorry you had to go at home I mean all right, so once there, you can go ahead and click on the PlayStation 2. Okay, then go to Jack X Combat Racing. All right, so right now, nobody's in the room right now, but if you guys want to play with me what, after you follow these steps, I'll be more than glad to join you guys or host or I can be a host or anything like you know just PM me if you guys want and we'll see if we can make up the time uh, okay so once there like you can start like either um, join or host a game for it like if we have a lot of people here on Jackax Combat Racing um, we would see some pop out to say like you know somebody's already hosting on it and the pop out will appear to see it and then once there you can just simply click on it and there uh, you're joining the the players who wants to race with you. All right, so I'll go ahead and do that on my PlayStation 2 right now. Okay, so once I'm back on the game on Jackass Combat Racing, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the a multiplayer mode and then click on land. All right, click on the setting two, which I put in. All right, so once you're there, um, you can go ahead and either you have the first or a second controller. So all I have is first. And there you have it, folks. Um, once you join somebody in your uh, room, you can you can tell they'll show you a pop out right there, like who's hosting, and they'll give you the information on what kind of track games uh, they're playing. 
Otherwise, like, you can go ahead and create a game, which I normally did. All right, so that's it for today, folks. Um, ask any question if you need some help on it, and I'll see what I can do. And you can also, like, if you have this problems and stuff, um, again, just ask me or PM me or AM me. It doesn't matter what time. Like, I'm basically, like, um, free, um, basically, like, daily time. So, yeah, and, and I'll see you guys on the next video.